Hey guys, welcome to Cute Tea Drawings. Today I'll be drawing Hagu Daki and Damataki from Garden of Banban. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. With this drawing, I'll be erasing some lines, so I'd recommend drawing in a pencil first. Okay, let's first start off on the right side, and let's draw the top head. Let's start by drawing the first finger. Let's draw an angle up, bring it over, and back down. Then let's draw another finger in the same way, angled up like this. And then two more fingers in the same way. And now from the end, let's continue it in. Next, let's add the neck. From both lines, let's curve it down and over to the left. Next, let's hop inside and draw the face. Let's start by drawing a large circle for the eye. And then let's add another circle inside on the top left. And now let's color it in black. Now underneath, let's add the mouth. Let's start with a small curve, and then a larger curve down. And that's it for the face. Next, let's hop to the left and add the ponytail. Let's start with a rounded square shape out. Then from the top, let's draw an S-shaped curve up and down. And then one more curve underneath. And that's it for the first head. Next, let's hop down and draw the second one. On the bottom right, let's start with a line out and then curve it back in at the end for the first finger. And let's draw two more fingers in the same way. And then one finger going downwards. Then let's continue that line back in to close off the head. Now let's hop inside and draw the face. Let's start with a large circle for the eye. And then another circle inside on the left. And then let's color it in black. Now let's add the mouth. Next to it on the left, let's draw a curve, and then another curve going down. And that's it for the face. Next, let's hop on top and draw the ponytail. Again, let's start with the rounded square shape. Then from the right side, let's draw an S-shaped curve up and over, and then curve it back down. And that's it for the heads. Next, let's draw the body on the left side. Let's start from the top neckline and let's draw a curve over, bring it up, back down, and then one more small bump at the end. And then a long curve across the bottom. And that's it for the shape of the body. Next, let's move down and draw the legs. We'll start on the bottom left and let's draw a curve. Then for the ends, let's curve it down. 
with the right side being a little bit shorter. And then let's close off the bottom with a point over to the right and back. Now let's erase that overlapping line inside the leg. Now top over on the very right and draw another leg. Let's start inside and let's draw a curve near the bottom. Then let's bring it down. Again with the right side being a little bit shorter. And then close off the foot in the same way. And again, let's erase that overlapping line inside. And that's it for the first set of legs. Now let's draw another set behind. Underneath the body in the center, let's draw two lines down on the left. And the same thing over on the right here. And now let's close off the bottom of each foot. And that's it for the legs. Next let's move in and draw the details on the shell. Let's start inside on the bottom right and let's draw a wavy line across. And then let's bring it behind the left leg. And let's follow that same curve underneath. And now inside this section, let's draw diagonal stripes all the way across. Next, let's hop up on the right here and let's draw a curve down. Now inside that bottom corner, let's draw two small angles up. And then connect them at the end with a curve. And then lastly, let's add a small circle inside. Now inside the top section of the shell, let's add the pattern. At the bottom in the center, let's draw a half circle curve up and back down. Then on top of it, a smaller circle. And another smaller circle on the bottom left here. And then a small curve above the left leg. Now let's hop over on the right side and let's draw another larger circle in the middle. And then two bumps near the top. And that's it for the shell. Next let's move to the left and draw the tail. At the end of the shell, let's draw two curves out and up. Next, at the end, let's draw the bow. Let's start in the middle and let's draw a rectangle shape. Then diagonal lines out from the top and bottom of both sides. And then curves at the ends. Next, let's draw the end of the tail. From the top left, let's draw two bumps up and the same on the right. And then two more bumps to close off the top. 
And that's it for Hagudaki and Damataki. Now let's quickly color it in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me. And please remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching!